Today I'm going to show you what Q Photo Lens Studio looks like. Today I'm going to show you where all the magic happens at Q Photo Lens Studio. Today I'm going to show you where all the magic happens at my studio. I'm Q Photo Lens. Welcome to my studio. Have you ever thought about going to a studio and spending 50, 60, 70, 80, $200 on a studio setup? And sometimes all you're doing is a commercial shoot, a quick birthday shoot. Having your home studio setup really will make you save those extra dollars. And your clients will be happier for it because they may not have to be paying that kind of money as well. I know some photographers that rent out a studio for a whole day and just shoot from that space. Other people, they charge back to the clients a certain amount so they can actually use the space. It all makes sense. But imagine being able to work from your own space, your own home, and being comfortable in your own space. I'm gonna show you my current setup I have in my basement studio. Imagine being able to do this beautiful studio setup with just a few things, one light, and a couple of other little odds and ends. How much space do you think you need for a studio setup? I wish I had higher ceilings. I wish I had a longer studio. I wish my studio width was wider, but I don't have those things. So I made it work. I'll be honest, I bought a lot of things, but I made them work and I grew with them. I sold what I didn't need anymore and I bought bigger. I am currently using the 8400 by Godox with an AC adapter attached to it. It makes a huge difference when I'm doing long sets. Now, the Godox 8400 does everything I needed to do and more without doubt. I currently reside in Canada and I buy all my paper from Henry's Camera Store. The paper brand that I currently buy is Savage, Savage Universal. Very top quality paper and this is where I get all my colors from. I currently have a great selection of different colors, which allows the models and the clients to be able to choose from which ones they want to use. If I've been able to help you in any way so far, please don't hesitate to subscribe. It really helps the channel go far. If you're wondering the cost of the background paper I buy from Henry's, it's usually between $100 and $125 with tax. I try to always buy it on sale when it's around $90 with tax. When you're first buying your rolls and you're trying to decide which color you want, I suggest you get white, gray, and tan. I find tan is a very good neutral color that works with all skin tones. White is great for a lot of commercial shoots and gray just works with everything. The pulley system I have for my background paper is called Newer. You can find the Amazon link in the description below. The cool thing about the Newer system is that it can be connected to the wall or the ceiling and I find both works very, very well. I have the three system setup, which allows me to have paper ready to go for when I switching off from one model to another model or from one product photography shoot to another one. If you haven't watched the last video on how I did it, please go ahead and click the link. Wait, don't do it yet. I definitely want you to finish watching this one first. Then you can go and click that one. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. When I got into studio photography, I know I needed a C-stand. So the one I went out and got was a newer C-stand that you can find at Amazon. I have the affiliate link below. And remember, with just under $1,500, you can get this whole studio set up and make it work. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on your notifications. Next week's episode is going to be amazing. I just wanna say thank you, and I appreciate all the feedback I've gotten regarding my YouTube channel. I'm looking forward to giving back as much knowledge as I possibly